my god! I don't have that many things. I don't have that many. Th I don't. I don't have that many different things. I don't have any different. New game? Yeah, no, new game. How you doing, UTPV? Terry, some dick. I'm not gonna give Terry. Hmm. How boring. All right, boys, strip them quickly. I hear tell that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. So. I am to assume that something happened where there's no girls anymore. And literally there was only two girls back then, but now there's one. The mother up I off we go. All your stuff has been taken. I care about Terry. Let me care. Let me care. Terry, are you alright, buddy? Ugh. My head. Whoa, you look like hell. Thanks. Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, first my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. Aw, I like hanging out with you. Man. I'm sorry, Terry. I I guess I am bad luck. Shit. Terry hints. Join you. A again? <laughs> I didn't want to lose them. That music. Wah, 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 wah. I want to see an ultra instinct Terry. Same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. This is the place we were where we got hit by the car or the truck. What's that truck? See, I my thing is to give the song an honest thing, and let's see if it, if it's Pepe Please worthy. You know, if a little a little seems alright. Oh my God! Ass blew up. <laughs> oh, I do have a new scar too. You're right. Yeah, Brad has a new scar. Jesus Christ. Should I film it? Then post it on YouTube? Nah. Too easy. Do we have anything around here? I'm trying to see that that I don't. It's not one of those games so you can click shit. <sighs> Fucking stupid as shit. What did I expect? Oh shit! Hey, friend. Seems like a storm is brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can sell my soup. Also, if you need to rest, use my tent. Yeah, we don't have anything. That would have been great. Let's rest. It's great. <sighs> they took all my bottles. Fucking A, dude. Whoa! Holy heck! <laughs> He's full of holes. Huh. That's different. Chickens? Chicken! Yo, this is Chicken Boy. What's up, boy? Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Oh! <laughs> I 
I can't talk to him anymore. He just points out. Okay, my bad, dude. <laughs> Shit. Can't catch a break. The world can be saved. Find her. Status effects. Oh, fuck. Cool pick, huh? Uh, stop seeing your tracks. Slightly increases defense. Wow. I didn't think we were going to deal with so many different things. Depression makes life suck. Fair. Cool regenerates HP. Makes you flammable if I'm oiled up. Withdrawal hurts you all over. Joy makes it all better. Wow. Oh! What? Oh, that's a really good idea. I might do that actually. Yo, this is sick. Burble bash from Terry. Oh! Terry's being hurtful. There was no effect. Bobby Dill kicks dirt. Yo! Herbal bash again. Terry's being hurtful. <laughs> Keep hurting him, Terry. It has no effect. I'm wasting that on him. I should probably do that. I should not do that, probably. My intestines are in disarray. Shout out to all my fans, says Terry. Alright, I should probably stop verbally abusing that dude over there. Alright, also, I wasted a lot of different things. I'm gonna rest again and see what happens. If this is like Dark Souls, where like all the bosses come back, or all the enemies come back. We were told, though, to be careful with it when it comes to resting, but... So far, I've seen nothing bad, really. Yep, we're fine. Nope. Oh! Is he dead? Wow. I love this. This game is, is, is fair. Let's find her. <laughs> 10 magazines! Wow. I'm gonna fall again and die? No. Okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Smooth. Ah, Jesse. Who the fuck is Jesse? Are you trolling? Is this real? That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> That's so bullshit.
the fuck is this game, dude? <laughs> My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I gather a wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales. Would you like to hear them? Yes, I totally care. Hmm. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyways. Uh, okay. Let's see. Alright. It all started with like what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on a sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Oh wait, maybe she brought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle? Well hold on, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put it in ice in the glass? But then again, making Tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyways, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch, drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course. Ho <laughs> ho! When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I lived many years, and I never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized the little rock had gone caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair? What a day! I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho <laughs> ho! I slipped into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into my bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. And as I peered across the hall, and my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? <laughs> Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40, 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife came in Forknight Plateau Burger. Plate Burger. Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I would say she was a soft six. Where my wife was a hard four. What is the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyways, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. <laughs> she decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of the romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay, ay, ay. At this point, I have already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I roll over and try to sleep. Her best side light was only of might of annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. You didn't tell me anything then. He didn't say anything. He just fucking ramble. Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. I can tell by the way you're walking away. You don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. <laughs> Once upon a hot summer night. Something in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off the topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyways, my wife and I, God rest our soul, went to a barbecue. 
that night. It was held at Dale Spooner house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now early in the day, my wife, God rest her soul of course, have made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a, I'm a machio kind of fella. <laughs> so I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring potato salad. Anyways, Tom and his wife, I mean Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, <laughs> needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Can we? No. Ever again? I don't. It just. It just talk. It just talk to talk. There's no fucking purpose. This makes no fucking sense. I hate this dude. He just talks so much. Like, I don't mind people that talk because it's nice to hear someone talking. You're like, alright, I don't want to talk, but I want to hear other people talk, you know, to fill the void. But God, does he talk so much. Holy shit. Good fucking lore. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Dude! God rest my soul! God rest my soul! What the fuck? Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What are you following me or, or something? Ho <laughs> ho! Anyways. I hope they what? I hope they will have wonder what happens here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycles is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally, I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's got some, she's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see there's some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort and his assumedly big house and hard body wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it and all the way down to the ground. I stare at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet, as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly. I'm all wrapped up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit bored, but beggars can be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I got many tales. No. No, please. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Please. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. God bless my soul. 